I'm going to explain further how to um, how to cut this reed cane to make the rigging wires on biplanes. Okay, so we've got some thick pieces of cane straight from the fans, the cheap fans, and you put your blade in the middle of it like that, and then just pull towards you. Okay, and that will give you two pieces of cane. Put your blade down like that. Okay, and we're going to get to the these are 148 scale SE5s, so we're going to aim to do 148 scale rigging for this. Okay, I did it by eye, I don't measure it at all, I did it by eye. And the beauty of this um, cane technique is the fact that you can, in fact, reproduce flat rigging wires if you want to. I'm not going to in this case, but you can do that. So, blade in the center. Job to know, get my hand in the way here. Sometimes you pull it down and you'll get a little, it'll go up course, but it doesn't matter, you can start again in the center. And then you just pick the best ones you want. Just keep going. I'll try this one. You just gotta keep building up a collection of suitable rigging wires. Make an old bundle of them. Okay, so once you put your blade into it, split it, put your finger on the top, just pull down like that. Okay. Now, because the cane's a natural product, you will find that you will get sometimes shorter pieces than others because of the, the way the natural grain goes. But there's a beautiful piece there. Okay, and we'll go again, turn it round. Uh, you can tell when it's going well. That's it, that's gone well, that one. And to the bottom. And this is just like real rigging wires because real rigging wires, <coughs> for example, on a tiger moth, it's not wire, it is actually extruded metal. So we've got rigid pieces of wire, but rigid pieces of um, metal reproduced with the bamboo cane. You can start from the middle sometimes. If it, sometimes if you've got a tapered piece, which often happens, you can start in the middle. You've just got to hit it just right. No, not going to do that. Turn it around then. It's experimenting. I'm going to try and split this into two. I'm splitting it two, but I've actually made it much thinner than what it was. This one. That's it, that's got it. And then you just split it apart. Fingers. And already we've got some nice pieces there. So, what you can do once you cut them, you can grade them on whatever scale model you're doing. Is a nice flat piece. We'll start with this one. In the middle. As you can see, it's an art doing this. I discovered this by accident one day. I was cutting some pieces of bamboo to do some pito heads on a model. I thought, wow. I can uh, expand on this idea. It's what the Chinese call happy accident. Okay. Of course, bamboo is such a lovely thing to strong as well. Nice and springy. Use it for aerial mass if you want to. Oh, there we go. We're away. We're away. 
that's got it. That's the sort of thing you hang it for. And that's actually is long enough. You'll see being that small piece is long enough to do flying and landing wire on this SE5. So there you go. So even in that short time we've got a fair selection of uh, recane rigging wires there. So that's the way you do it anyway. So give it a try. Okay, thank you for watching.